Oh yeah, uh, this is 30 days uh, post-op. This is just a swift one, mostly uh, just an update on the, the 28 day post-op one. Um, uh, I, I don't know if you caught it, obviously it makes sense to nip back and watch it now if you, if you haven't. Um, I was reporting that I wasn't feeling too great I'd, um, and I recorded it in the morning. There was a load of stuff I left out like um, and probably not unrelated to the fact as I was reporting in the blog that I, uh, I wasn't feeling too great at all. Uh, the backward steps sort of continued throughout the day um, and I, would, I was pretty done in by the end of it. Um, what I, what I had said in the, the previous blog is that I, I went to the gym for the first time on the uh, on the Friday. Um, I pretty much didn't do too much different than um, uh, the exercise suite, but you know I did the exercise suite. I also did some um, some goblet squats, uh, which once the, the twenty kilos uh, kettlebell that I used was in position on the chest were were reasonably straightforward and uh, of good quality. Um, I did some deadlifts, um, but with um, uh, with Walter Mitty plates on, basically um, normal Olympic barbell twenty kilos, but then five kilo weights that are the same size as a, as a twenty kilo. You usually find the Walter Mitties of the world stacking them on and then putting a twenty on the outside. Something I would never dream of doing, um, but it was just a just a five k either side, uh, and I was happy as Larry. With my um, uh, with my uh, posture and technique, uh, you know the weight flew up. It basically, the like the the start and posture uh, was was loaded with with far more uh, potential energy than was required to lift the bar, basically. Uh, but then I also did just some dead hangs, which I reckon would have been fine. But then they felt so fine that I also did um, some um, scapular depressions from the hanging position. Um, I, I don't know if, um, if you're familiar with a scapular depression, but you know, hang do a dead hang from a bar, and yeah, with straight vertical arms, uh, draw your, your shoulders down your back so that your your neck and head start rising up. Um, great exercise, uh, though apparently not if you've just had uh, surgery to remove uh, a, a tumour from the, the, from your brainstem. Um, as you see me in the morning, my me, uh, me left eye was just doing its own thing. Uh, it's more or less back on, on the team now, like although still a little bit erratic, I think. Uh, but... Um, the, the hiccups started to make a return, which was a bit of a uh, scary warning sign as they were the very first symptom of, uh, of the bleed. Um, the double vision was, was back big time. Um, and then just basically feeling like shit was, um, um, <laughs> it was a noticeable feature. You know, the fuzzy head, um, the, the gyroscope had gone for the walking and that like, uh, and I, would, I was starting to get a little bit concerned. Um, I mean, I, I, I started not feeling great on the Friday night, which I just put it down to, to being tired from what was an exceptionally good day as far as progress was on the Friday. Um, on the Saturday, first of all, I, I, I just put it down to um, good day followed by bad day. That was a pattern which I'd had... Um, uh, post hemorrhage but pre-op I would have a really good day of gains and then the next day I'd be pretty damn knackered um, and every time I was knackered I'd, you know my head would be would be fuzzy and I couldn't concentrate so that's yeah I say that's what I put it down to like that's probably whatever one about one of the aspects I was hoping for what I did put it down to was just a, a compromise on the vertebrae in my neck which is where I think uh, the most significant component for um, the symptoms presenting is now. Um, I think there's a load of inflammation around there, uh, and um, how tightly that uh, correlates with the op site, don't know. Um, but that's that's definitely where there appears to be inflammation. 
and massage and I got a great one off Sam on the Sunday which seemed to be what turned me around and sort of made me sort of like well feel if not look remotely human today um, and the anti-inflammatories the, the impact that they have that, that's what made me think that it, it, it wasn't anything more sinister um, hopefully this improvement will continue uh, through tomorrow and show me right um, but that was also the reason why I hadn't uh, either done the exercise suite which I would like to do on the weekly markers and also the uh, piano playing marker uh, that won't be done today either that'll have to be done on day 31 um, see if I've made a note here of what I wanted to include um, oh yeah the, the the only other things um, that are possibly of interest is that I don't know if I've raised it, I've sort of felt and, and had the, had the uh, undeniable symptoms of sort of constipation. Um, uh, but basically throughout, uh, post-hemorrhage, pre-op and, and absolutely post-op. Um, I'm trying to impact that with some Senecot and then also um, with some high-fibre foods as well. Uh, seem to be getting there, but stand by on that one. Um, and just a note to say that my walking is probably now at least as good, if not better, as the first day uh, pre-op. Now, obviously, I'd lost the ability to walk post-hemorrhage, and then it was two two weeks until um, my uh, my op. But definitely, post uh, day one post-op was way you know, was a number of uh, uh, magnitude worse than. Um, day one post uh, hemorrhage but anyway sports fans that's enough for now see you later